Thank you very much for joining Wasteland. Just uh, bringing the updated report to you on climate change. Uh, one of the factors is uh, the heating of our ecosystem, our atmosphere, I should say, and it's affecting our ecosystem. That's the right terminology. So everything is being affected um, through a chain and domino effect. Unfortunately, um, we do have the flooding. We do have the fires. Uh, there have been recent reports of fires in um, the West and California, uh, almost like fire natos, just uh, you know, being staying ignited and out of control. Fires that are raging, literally. Um, we saw this week reports on the Rhine River in Europe in the UK, um, also the Thames River is impacted in the United States, it's the Lake Mead. Uh, these rivers are not able to sustain maritime travel. And uh, when you look at the report, you're imagining maybe it's the one isolated area, but when you look um, and do further research, uh, acres of river have dried up uh, river beds have dried up. Uh, this causes maritime travel to not be sustainable. It causes uh, uh, logistics uh, crises and management issues uh, that need to be uh, put in place. We know that China, for its part, is trying to uh, cause artificially cause the rainfall uh, through rods of iodine. Uh, now, our planet is in trouble. We talk about the wasteland and how when the planet was first formless, uh, larva, uh, water all over the surface, volcanic action, cataclysmic, cataclysmic dust, please excuse me, uh, was all over the earth. Are we going to that? Are we headed to that? The answer is yes. If you think about this drought that was reported in the news, and we kept seeing the headlines, not understanding what the impact would be, and now this week we're seeing the actual reports of uh, dried up rivers, then we can understand that there's a seriousness. Um, we never thought that this would happen so quickly over a summer. This matter is so elusive that um, we take it for granted and yet life is impacted for everyone. If we see these things happening to rivers, what is happening to the reservoirs? Uh, we need to be on alert. We need to understand how to live without running water in our homes. And we need to understand what to do when we're impacted. So that's gonna be our next segment on what to do if you're running out of water and you're relying only on uh, water, bought, purchase water, and um, I encourage everyone to follow my program from government to civilian. Uh, thank you very much for joining. We'll be right with you with an update on what to do in your home. Ralph of the Peace Station.